you hook on all the bags right here and it gives you a convenient handle. All right, now let's see if that grip changes up at all. <laughs> what up, Rap Back? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, as seen on TV, flip. You guys know the drill. The number's on screen right now. Make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you guys turn on post notifications. If you do that right now, you will get another video in your feed next week. And you know what else, Parker? You know what else I'm gonna give them for free? What? Another video on my other channel. Go check wow. it out. Why aren't they doing it right now? This is a amazing offer. You heard it here. Subscribe right now, okay? But right now, guys, we are gonna be doing some As Seen on TV fun. As you guys can see right here, I have an Amazon box. And during this whole um, staying at home thing, I went on Amazon and I decided I'm gonna try and find some of these strangest As Seen on TV products. Again, because you guys love the last one. I think it's one of the most viewed ADHD's life videos. So right now, we're gonna get into this one right here. And like I said, as usual, we're gonna find out if it's worth it or not. And you guys let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite product from this video. But let's get started. Is it is one of the things in my fasting on TV like a good knife? They don't sell anything on TV like this. this is I bet they don't. <laughs> because maybe TV has standards. <laughs> as heard about on the radio. <laughs> yeah, see as your local dumpster. But this thing is got to, okay? Let me get me started on that. But these products, guys, like I said, some of them they might end up being really freaking dumb, but some of them might end up like I picked items that I thought would either be 100 percent dumb or 100 percent sick. And nothing in between. Yes, let's find out. This next one, I first item I picked. It's because I've been having a lot of back pain recently, and that is the sock slider. Yeah, yeah. You know what this is, right? What? You ever get up in the morning and you're like, oh God, I'm so tired. I already stood up out of the bed. I already turned off the alarm clock. What else do I have to go? Put on my socks. And then you have to bend down to whatever drawer in this rifle home you have, get your socks, get on the ground or whatever, sit on a chair, scoot them up. This thing right here, you don't even have to stand up, or you can just stand up, I guess. You don't, even, you don't have to stand up though. You just put your foot into it and it puts your sock on for you. This is not a problem. It is for this, people that have back problems. This is not a this is not a solution. Or people that are got big beer bellies. I think they have other issues they can they should worry about. Yeah, no one wants to worry about grow. What? Oh. <laughs> We're gonna check this out. This is obviously, well, see like what I said, beer bellies, right here. That's, that's a pregnant woman. He's giving life. This, this is the same thing, kind of. But let's pop this thing open, see how it works. And I'm gonna try and put my socks on without any hands. Right here, guys, we're gonna open it up. I didn't even notice this, and that is it only just put your, this, I literally was talking to Parker off screen camera right now. I was like, and the only thing I say is kind of weird about this though, is like, yeah, if you have back problems, also awesome, great. But if you have to go get this device, load on your sock, all this stuff, like, couldn't you just put your sock on at that point? <laughs> But it actually takes off your socks. Now that is clutch. I, Taking off your socks, can you imagine you walk in the door? And some people's houses like Asian homes, they take their shoes off at the door, you know? Yeah, it's, it's not here. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely not here. Keep this thing on. Ready. <laughs> At some places you do do that, and then you can take off your socks at the door and just not even have bent down. God forbid you've bent down. All right. Now I'm pretty hyped on. Now that I know you take your socks off as well, let's find out: is this thing sick or is it? I guess just sock. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> it took off one letter. <laughs> All right. Let's slide this. No, another one. Let's slide this baby out right there. This looks like medical equipment. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for this? I yeah uh, yeah sure. So the way it works, you get your sock. You roll it around the outside. You okay. put your foot in, and then hopefully you can be able to hook the back with this thing. You know, I get that there's some people who can't do that, but I feel like there's a lot of people who can. Let's just try it out. <laughs> let's, let's see if it saves more time than if I were just have to put it on normally. All right, guys. So here we go. We're gonna try it off. Take my sock off. I don't even bring bring any extra socks. We should bring that one. Oh, what the hell? What? It's wrong with your feet? Oh well, this toe right here that got crushed by a bowling ball. This one, the toe almost growing back. Well, I, my body has been through a lot no. for the rep pack oh. through these years. I have perpetual heartburn from eating a Trinidad scorpion. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, please. I'm not denying that, but I'm talking about, talking about your hair, your hairy feet. We've been through this, all right? I'm over here putting myself out there, putting my ugly ass foot on the internet so people can learn about sock slider, okay? <laughs> Give me a goddamn break, all right? You know, I could have just very easily just took a different product, but no, I was like, people need this, okay? <laughs> I mean, I, all right. All right, so, dude, there's a little space for your heel to dip it in. Get a little deeper in the sock. I'm glad that they, <laughs> they thought about our heels. And the thing is, you could do the same thing with a pink sock if you wanted to. No. 
Whoa. <laughs> hey, this can't be good for your sock. They never said that. <laughs> That's not what was on the box. So, in theory, okay, let's just say I, I'm leaving home. My shoe's right there. I've already managed to get this one on. But how do you put on both socks? You do it twice. Oh, sweaters. so you use this to grab with that hook on the bottom. And then you use... And then you set up the other one. Yes, and then you set up the next sock. So really, you just need this. This could just be the main thing. You just buy anything to grab this part. <laughs> <laughs> let's try it out. I can't talk crap until I try it, right? So, let's try it out. Oh my god, I am not gonna lie. That was remarkably easy, but I don't feel like my sock's on all the way. <laughs> I feel like my sock. It's on. It's on, but it's like. Maybe you're supposed to put the sock, like, you know, like. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's try it again. Oh, there it is. Oh, that looks. Come on, I'm trying to grab the front of my toes to pull it up more. Hey, you know what? Like, okay, so now that I'm here, I just lift my foot up. Boom. You can't eat. No, no, no. They don't have that much flesh. <laughs> you got your socks on. You, this, this did what, what you wanted it to. Did it. <laughs> now, now you got to use that to help put on your shoe. Because you no. still can't bend down. No, now, now we got to figure out how to take my sock off with this thing. Instead of taking your sock off, I don't want to know how it does that. So all I have to do to take my sock off is... Oh. Oh, you know what? That was actually remarkably easy. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, think this is the product right here. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you didn't buy anything from this, it's this part. Like, this is actually probably the most useful thing. That part, I mean... You can just buy a shoehorn, though. Do the same thing, like an extendo shoe shoehorn. Or you might not need none of this, I don't know. But, if you are in the situation where you have trouble, obviously, most people watching this, based off the demographics that I look at, underneath 40. So, most of you guys probably have some decent bending abilities, hopefully. And if you don't, probably should work on that, because life, you need to be healthy. And you're in the rep pack, and I want you to be healthy. Now, we're going to go on the next product I don't think there's much more to this one <laughs> I'm telling you you gotta you gotta use that shoehorn to put your shoe on oh dude you're not lying look at this I, that's what you put your foot in the heel right here and you slide your foot in it's a shoehorn that's how that works but this is way better than any shoehorner I've used because that's malleable it's like it's bendy so that was so it's not like you're going against some metal that's hurting every yes. step of the way molecular malleability <laughs> make up phrases and absurdity how do you think I make murder <laughs> All right, for this next side, I, I woke my dog up from it, from its deep slumber. She's always in a slumber and then a licking frenzy after that. <laughs> she licks, she sleeps, she eats. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All of which we've caught on camera. Exactly. The next product is True Touch. Helps minimize shedding to keep you and your house clean. Yeah. <laughs> And I mean, in this household, there's a lot of hair. So <laughs> it definitely could be helpful. My thing is, dude, look at the... You ever, like, put glue on your hands, Elmer's glue, you rub it all over your hand, it's coated in it, and you let it dry out, and then you peel it off like skin? Yeah. Yeah, like that? She pulled off a thickums of freaking dog fur. Okay, that's... Okay, now I'm... <laughs> like... One thing I'm really worried about is what is wrong? Look at somebody put this dog's head inside of a soda crusher. <laughs> Let's try it out. Let's see. Daisy is a hyperallergenic dog, and um, she's also old. She doesn't have like a lot of hair. So <laughs> we're gonna try it out and see how well it works. True touch. And let's see if I could have give Daisy the five finger true touch. I'm gonna do that to my dog. No, That's what no, in the box, though. I really hope no one's doing that. Yeah. That to the box. <laughs> All right. Daisy is here. She is actively trying to lick off every mineral I have in my body. So let's go ahead and get this glove out. All right. Let's get this glove open. Kind of feels like weird with the glove being like. It feels like it was made to be on this way, but I'm yeah. forced to get to be on this way. <laughs> she's like still going at it. I told you, man. I mean, we could literally like just put it on a tripod right now for like 15 minutes. She will still be doing this. <laughs> Let's try it out with dude on her head. Dude, look at those lines though. It's actually combing her out pretty good. Get some of this under area. I get everywhere. She's I, just gonna keep licking the whole way through. <laughs> I think the important thing is is that it doesn't, it's not hurting the animal. Dude, dude, look at that. Daisy is a non hyperallergenic dog. There was like almost no hair that should have come off. I'm actually amazed, guys. As somebody, Daisy, I love Daisy. I've had her since she was a puppy and she basically was like a human. Her hair does not, I falls out as much as our hair does so the fact that this much came out is yeah. like insane that was like all her probably extra hairs yeah and there's you can all the see extra it hair. right around here that is you can see all in there that is actually amazing and i'm probably gonna keep this for her because that is like ridiculous i mean to be fair like it would be really really interesting to see like because i have a boxer yeah and so if, if it was on one of those dogs it would be interesting yeah or but... like a freaking german shepherd or like a siberian oh husky yes, exactly. maybe it really would look like that lady's hand <laughs> oh i would imagine so because because, I mean, there's so much grooming involved. Exactly. Alright, so, there's the true touch. Let's see what's next. I'd say, compared to the last product, a pass. Yeah, yeah. 
100 percent a pass. The last sock thing, I was debating it. Fail. I mean, I mean it says it didn't even disturb the small dog. So even on a big dog, it'd be nothing. It'd be like nothing. Literally, it has over 260 teeth. Let's move on to the next product. You see all the fur flying around? No. Going but like this. I guess I'm gonna cover my shirt then. <laughs> all right, this next product out of here. It just looks like your everyday normal rock, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a boulder. <laughs> Pioneers used to ride this maybe for miles. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is what you call the hide a key rock. <laughs> This is the actual brand. Some of you guys might not know this, but there's a lot of alternatives for this brand, but this is the literal hide a key rock brand rock as seen on TV. And hey man, let's see if we can go outside and hide it. I'm gonna go outside and hide this rock out there in the yard with the key, and you're gonna come out there and see if you can find it. All right. I'm not gonna put it underneath any grass. It'll be exposed. Let's see if it blends over the terrain. All right. Okay, so what? I thought you went out that way. No, I, I tried to go out there. There's just way too much stuff but, over there. <laughs> when did you get over there? Went over the building. What the? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go outside right now. It's right around this left corner. There's a little dirt area out there. That's where people walk through to get into this place. That's where you probably would hide your key more likely than over there because it's locked. So you kind of have to get over here. So see, I'm honestly genuinely put in a good spot. I think I will be kind of amazed if you don't find it. If you do find it, I'm not gonna invest. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Let's see what we got. All right, that is the question. So where is the... <laughs> Would this happen to be it? Um, that could be another one. I think mine's over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will say that first off, I'm really just awesome. You okay, know, okay. besides that, <laughs> besides that, like I knew what I was looking for. You know, yeah, like that was pretty good. I just, I just saw a black rock. I mean, honestly, this is kind of, this is like the closest colored rock that there is. But all these are kind of lighter shade. If they, if they made these in multicolored or like maybe even a lighter shade, different colors. Yeah, I think that's the thing is they just went lazy. You know? Like let's just kind of do something that kind of works for anything. But yeah, but it doesn't really do that. But if you did that, I mean, if I didn't know what I was looking for, nobody would know. I knew what I was looking for. I know, Me. but I'm trying to hide it from you. <laughs> I think this thing could work under the pretense of then somebody not knowing. But since Parker, like you said, did kind of have an idea of what he was looking for, it was a little easier to spot it out. But that was a good spot though. It camouflaged really well. Yeah, I mean, until somebody cuts down the tree and they're like, shit, a free apartment. <laughs> All right, the next item is, you know, everybody wants a fireplace, right? You got the freaking chimney, you can freaking in winter time, you get the fire roast, you hear the crack of the wood, the nice heat, you know, natural heat radiating it through your home. I mean, Netflix is the same thing. They have like a fire fire log thing for like, goes for like an hour and a half. Yeah, I mean, that's why I got that right there. It's a fake fire. <laughs> So we all want fireplaces. We all want fake fire, all right? No, no one will have an actual fireplace unless you live like in the Midwest and you're like California, a lot of people don't have them. So the next thing we got right here is an at-home ceramic space heater fire that plugs into the wall. Space heater fire? Yes, ceramic So it just starts heater. fires in your homes? I don't know, but it has a fireplace on the display. <laughs> Let's check this thing out. You know, it's like nearing summertime in California, so you couldn't have found like a that for like an AC. No, that would cost that would cost a lot more money. Refrigerant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, refrigerant. This is just heat up some metal, blow wind through it. <laughs> <laughs> that is way bigger than what I thought it was going to look like, honestly. That's way more cheap looking than I thought it was gonna be. It looks like a stove. <laughs> All right, let's check this thing. Oh, it has a remote too. Damn. Oh, now oh, power, dang. power is accessed. Okay, let's go plug this thing in. You know where? The bathroom. <laughs> what? It's not dark enough out here. Why that? We want Why would you need heat in the bathroom? Because I generate enough heat in there. <laughs> no, I do not. That is the problem. All right, but let's see what happens. We plug it in. You might still need to like, you know, turn it on or something, but I mean, right. There we go. Damn, dude, now looks like the fire is going down though. What's happening is, is that this thing is sucking that heat down and it's blowing it out of here. Sucking heat down. And yeah. It's blowing heat out. Yes. <laughs> Let's see, feel that, is that hot to you? Feel that now. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna give that thing a pass because it does produce heat. Is it like something that you could rely on in like a Chicago or a Detroit winter? No, but, but it's something. Okay, so the last item, if you if you were uh, raised by a single mother and you are a male, you are all too aware of this problem. And even if you are, you don't have a single mother, you're just a, anybody that has to be forced to bring in the groceries home, you will be very grateful this product exists. Have you ever had your mom like, hey Parker, come bring in the stuff from Costco. And you're like, have it ripping your hands level plastic around your hands, but just like, melt through your fingers. Yeah, I feel like um, you kind of just explained my life story. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, you kind of just took that out of a, out of a chapter. Well, there you go. Literally, those plastic bags at grocery stores, literally, they get so tight and thin when you're holding heavy weight that it's like literally like razor wire on your fingers. So they invented more. Well, seen on TV. Hey, it toughens you up. It toughens you up, I guess you could say. Some people, it toughens you down. <laughs> <laughs> this is why they invented the pickup 
and carry. So you hook on all the bags right here and it gives you a convenient handle. What we are gonna be doing to test this is I have a bunch of grocery bags. We're gonna go out there to ADHD's world setup, fill it up, we're gonna see how it hurts to lift it up and we're gonna try the carry on and see if that makes a difference in your shopping trips. Okay. All right, let's try it out. Let's First off, let's check them out real quick. Thing is, it looks like a hair clip. <laughs> All right, guys, so right here we have some normal grocery stuff that you can see at like a barbecue right down here. You know, you might be going to like a sports shop. You got a bowling ball right what? there. Um, the bottom, we have a 25 pound <coughs> weight what on that one. What is that, Iron Man's carry-on? <laughs> no, that's a skillet. <laughs> And then these are all Walmart bags, but you went to Walmart, you got this stuff, and you're like, okay, that was a bad decision. We're going to Target. <laughs> and then you went to Target. And then you're like, oh, this isn't real groceries. And you went to Ralph's. That's why we have all these so many bags, right? Okay. Oh, that, right. That's the three local stores right here. So <laughs> let's go ahead. I'm going to try my best to lift these up without any hand guards. And we made the bags, and some of them were hurting my hand just bringing them here. <laughs> oh, you're doing all, oh. I'm going for all of them. I'm, oh, what the, what the I think I am a two tripper? I, I mean, I would never accuse anybody. Yeah, I am not no two tripper. I mean, that grip tell me otherwise. I don't know, but if I got you're a good son, you're always a one tripper, and you will figure it out if it breaks your goddamn back. You will figure it out because no one's going back out there. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, it's okay, mom. I'm fine. I don't need to make two trips. Just open the door, please. Open it. Oh my god, please open the door. <laughs> that accurate? Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty accurate. I'm gonna be holding them for a minute. I'm gonna drop them down. Let's look at my hands. Oh, instant. I mean, I've got some melanin in my skin, so it bounces back a little quick. But that spot didn't. I'm Caucasian there forever. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to try it out. Oh, oh, that was a lot of weight. Have you ever but... tried doing curls? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Click and carry. Pop it open. Let's slide these things on and see if it works. It should lock into place with both grocery bags. Okay. See the other one? You're going to need a few of these. You got a lot of groceries. <laughs> oh, so you have to get two. You, 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 you can't just get one. I mean, you could probably put all four of these on one if you were dangerous enough i mean <laughs> like you said we didn't choose this life we're, we're one trippers <laughs> exactly let's go ahead and click this down all right now let's see if that grip changes up at all i'm not gonna lie like it's harder to get strength but it doesn't hurt my hand as much but it's harder i feel like it's more weight i feel like there's more pressure here go ahead and try it out parker i'm gonna do this one without it and then we'll put it back on so try to pick those two up with one hand if you can yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Help that. No. You said it was a skillet. <laughs> it's not a skillet. It's definitely a weight. <laughs> All right, now we'll put this back on and you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird though. Oh. You think this would make it significantly easier, but it's like, it actually makes it kind of harder. Yeah. All right, now try that and you're going to see what I'm talking about, dude. Remember the same thing you just did. Oh. It's heavier, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's different. It's way heavier oh, that one. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's significantly heavier. I feel like. I think this is for, for four trippers. <laughs> hey, um, there's nothing wrong with that. Those people might be our grandparents, but. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new here and check out this video screen right here, which is actually the last episode of As Seen on TV. We get a literally a freaking snake wire with a camera at the end. That was freaking epic. A lot of some other awesome products to show you guys over there. So go check that out. I will see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.